Right, hi guys. Ah, oh, that was fantastic. They were little bits of chicken, chicken in batter. I don't know what they call them, but it was chicken in batter. It was really nice. I ate them all. <laughs> uh, I had a sausage and the boys had half a bare batter sausages each. So the boys are sorted and they had loads of chips. And I've still got loads of chips left. So I'm gonna hang on to those till tomorrow. I might have a chip butty or something like that. Right, should we do the unpack? Um, I'll start off with the Tesco's bag first. Ugh. Well, they're all Tesco's bags, but this was the Tesco shop. Um, two loaves of bread. <clears throat> Ticket receipt. I've got some um, more dental sticks for my boys. A couple of boxes of those. And I got myself some mashed potato because I'm going to do that um, um, lamb shank. I've got that lamb shank, haven't I? So I'm going to have that lamb shank at the weekend. So I've got myself some mashed potato to go with that. And I also treated myself to some jacket potatoes. Da, da, da. I love these. <clears throat> I put extra cheese on them. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And I got some um, <clears throat> some bonios for the dogs. So that's that was just what I got from Tesco's. That's all I got. <clears throat> right, that's the first bag unpacked. Right, I'll just move the dog's things further down. There you go, and I'll put the bread away. <clears throat> Mind bump, please, me. Oh, just missed you. Lovely. Right. Next bag. Here we go. Right, this was Aldi. You know what's coming out here, but you don't know what order it's coming out in. My yogurts to start with. My favourite yogurts. I'm totally out of yogurts. I did finish the last one today, so that's good. Good bit of timing. And I nearly didn't get these at Aldi because I couldn't find them. There's four in a box right at the back of the shelf. I just spotted them. So I had three of the four. So yes, I'm all stocked up with apple pies so I can have some apple pies later. I won't have them quite yet because I want to have a cup of tea <clears throat> to wash those fish and chips down, uh, sausage and chips down. And there you are. So that's three boxes of apple pies. And I've got some more sandwich meat for me. That's uh, corned beef for me. And I've got some more ham for the boys. Got a couple of packs of ham for the boys. Well, two, there you go. Right, those go there. <clears throat> okay, take that away. Right, another bag yet. Here it comes. Oh, dear. Right, this one is just my milk and some apples. I've got some more uh, gala. I've got my royal gala apples again. I like these, they're quite, they're quite sweet. And a couple of bottles of milk. One, two, there you go. Sorted, that is it, guys. That wasn't so bad, was it? That was easy. Right, I'm gonna have that cup of tea, and then we can have a chat. I'll flick that kettle on now while we're talking, and I can put the rest of the things away. Right, so, yogurt's first, there we go. Move the kettle back a bit so I can put the dog's biscuits away. There you go. Right there. And... Woo. I got this bucket the other day. This was from Aldi and it's a dog biscuit bucket. It's really good. It's got a little 
lid on it, and inside you've got like a scoop, so you can scoop your biscuits out. It's nearly empty, I need to fill it up again, but uh, it's really, really good. I'm happy with that, That's a good, good buy that one. Right, let's put these away. It was a really good day at work, but the drive to work this morning was really bad, as in foggy. It was so thick. Um, I ended up, I waited, I tried to pick a car to follow. There's nothing worse than you leading a whole load of cars behind you, because you've got bare lights in your mirrors all the time. And so you can't see where you're going anyway, because you're getting so much glare off the fog. So what I usually do is I fall back, wait for somebody to go past me, and then I'll follow them. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll keep a nice distance. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I keep a nice distance so that um, I'm not too close to them. But I just, it, it gives you an indication where the roads go before you get there. So it's a lot easier than having that blanket of fog coming at you all the time. So that was this morning. Uh, by the time I got to Newmarket Racecourse, it had started to clear. And from there to Cambridge was lovely. but. The other way going back home again it was really bad so yeah that wasn't so good uh, coming out of cambridge tonight not too bad i got out reasonably well uh, but then i got held up at a place called six mile bottom i didn't go through new market tonight i thought i'd try six mile bottom which is a kind of cross-country route and i got held up there so i should have gone the new market way never mind <laughs> too late now um so yeah the trips to and from work were okay um, but this time next week, uh, sorry, two weeks from now, I'll be on holiday. Yeah! <laughs> and I'll be looking forward to my greet and meets, guys. Yes, it's coming that quick. So I've got next week's at Bury St Edmunds, then I'm back to Cambridge the following week, and then I'm on holiday for a whole week, a week, week and a bit. So yeah, I'm so looking forward to that. Right, let me make my cup of tea. <clears throat> I'm absolutely parched. really mild out there tonight <clears throat> um, when I drove home from Cambridge uh, this evening it had clouded over it had been really sunny all day and then when it was time to knock off it went really dark it looked like it was going to rain uh, I drove home it didn't rain uh, it was nice because you didn't have the sun in, in the side of your face which was nice because you end up with the sun coming through the side window into your, your eyes all the time so I didn't have that today so that was nice um, but it was really mild and when I went to do my shopping just now uh, I let the boys outside first, and it was really mild, and I thought, well, I don't need a coat tonight, it's really, really muggy. So I went out like this, just in a, the woolly pulley in the jeans, and I went to Aldi, to done my shop in Aldi, and I came out of Aldi, and it was really horrible, blowy drizzle. It was really nasty. <laughs> I thought, oh no, I'm gonna get soaked. But lucky enough, I packed my, my trolley full of shopping, uh, in Audi, I'd actually taken some carrier bags in with me. So once I'd paid for it all, I'd put it into the carrier bags and put it back in the trolley, and then went across the car park to my car with the bag, with the, everything in the bags already. So that made it so much quicker. Straight in the car, took the trolley back, and off to Tesco's. And I did similar in Tesco's. I took a bag in with me with the trolley, and I put everything in the bag, and then put it back in the trolley, and then went outside, loaded the car, and put the trolley back. And it worked so much easier that way bit of fine tuning I think but yes it was really good um, 
so it had stopped raining when I came back <coughs> came back from Tesco's so hopefully it won't rain anymore I want fingers crossed if it's dry tomorrow to get my cut my garden cut because the grass is a real mess well weeds sorry not a lot of grass in it it's a lot of weed but it needs cutting uh, it's a real mess so I'm hoping I get at least a little bit of a dry period over the weekend that I can get out there and cut it and hopefully if I give it a really short cut um, that should hopefully do the trick for this year <clears throat> Right, put that over here guys. Over there. Back to the logs, that's good. Must be tea bag now, there it is. Right, I think that'll do guys, I think we can go and sit down now. Uh, my washing, I've swapped it over from the washing machine into the tumble dryer. The first load's dry, I've hung it over the, uh, the top of the door. That's the dog's bedding blankets from the kennel. I always bring them down on a Friday night and put them straight in the washing machine so they're, they're cleaned. Right, come on, let's go and have a sit down. I can take my boots off now. Right, here we go. There's my Snoopy tired out after eating that big sausage. Absolutely shattered. Right, here we go. Right, if I put the phone down there, guys, and... <clears throat> there you go. I'll just shorten the stand a little bit. Makes it less top-heavy. <clears throat> Can I take my boots off, please? <laughs> I've got my, lo my little Lotus boots on. Oh! Those ones, <laughs> they're lovely and comfortable, but oh, I just want to put my feet up and put the duvet over my legs. So it's quarter past nine, so it's been really good. I went out at quarter past seven, and I was back here by, well, um, quarter past eight. What time did I do the when I walked in? I don't know. It's, it's only two hours now since I went out shopping and I've had my dinner. So, and we've done the pack and I've got a cup of tea. So things are looking good. Right, okay, I'll just pull the tape a little bit closer. <clears throat> there you go, a little bit closer again. There you go, how's that? Oh. oh, there's a message on my phone about a parcel. I don't know what it is, I'll have to have a look. Oh, guys. <laughs> Oh, I hope you're all sitting comfortably. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. If I went horizontal, I would fall asleep straight away. <laughs> I couldn't stop yawning at work today. I did have a bit of a late night last night. I didn't want to. I wanted to have another early night, but it didn't happen. I didn't get to bed till about half past 11. And then I'm up at four o'clock in the morning anyway. So this morning I felt really tired. But when the alarm went off, the first thing that went through my head was, it's Friday. <laughs> and I jumped out of bed and I just went, got, got going. I thought, let's get it done. Get Friday out of the way and done. It was really good. I had a really good day today. It went quick. I was so busy. Uh, I didn't actually look at the clock until it was quarter to one today. So I was working all morning and I glanced up at the clock and it was 15 minutes till dinner time. I thought, oh, result. <laughs> it went that quick. It was so good. It's lovely when you're busy. You just concentrate on what you're doing and you just keep going. And that's what happened today. So yeah, that was really nice. Um, <clears throat> what's happened today? Uh, I packed my tools, obviously, brought them back with me. Um, there's a little bit of banter going on um, between the service manager and the assistant service manager today. Uh, the assistant service manager is a lady and the service manager is a fella. And they were bantering backwards and forwards between each other and I stood in the middle. They were trying to find a job card for me. Um, it, was the, it was the afternoon, I'd just come in, I'd finished the jobs off just before dinner. So after dinner, I needed a fresh job. So I went into the office to get another job. And they were both 
trying to work out what to give me that I could actually get done before the end of the day because all the jobs were big jobs. And uh, so they gave me one I failed on an MOT the other day, which was, which was perfect. But the customer wanted some of the items I'd reported were nothing to do with the MOT and the customer wanted those done as well which meant the job turned from being a uh, about a one and a half hour job into being a, um, uh, three, about a four hour job. And I hadn't got that much time in the afternoon to do it. There's no way I could do it all. So I concentrated on doing the MOT side. So I did the MOT failure work, which was a lower suspension arm and a, a tire. So I thought if I do those first, and put the MOT on the car, then at least the car is legal. The customer can use the car if he wants the car back. And because I knew I was going to run out of time, there's no way I was going to get it finished. And there was another job I had to finish off as well, which was another MOT fail and the part had arrived this afternoon. So yeah, I got the first one, which was the one with the suspension arm. That's quite involved. To do the suspension arm, you actually have to take the front bumper off take the subframe down, the front subframe, to get to the bolts to undo the lower suspension arm to change it. So what should be a half hour job is an hour's job because you just can't get at anything. It's so buried uh, in the, the manufacturing, their wisdom built a, a good system, but they didn't build it with a mechanic in mind. So a lot of the jobs you, you want to do, you can't get at because they're just so hemmed in and buried. And this is what this was, this bump suspension arm was so hemmed in that you had to actually take the bumper off, take a front, lo front lower subframe off, that carries those, the radiators. And then you can get to the suspension arm, but unless you take the subframe off, you can't get to the suspension arm. So it's a nightmare <laughs> for something that should take half an hour. Yeah, it's uh, stupid, but there you go. Did that one and this, the other one I did was a one I was waiting for a rear light to turn up. That's all it was, just a rear light and a retest. Re so I did two retests, suspension arm, um, a tyre, and that was it. That was my afternoon gone. And then I had to load the van up because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be here late because I thought I'm going to work all the way up to half past four. Then I'm going to have to get the van in and it's going to take me another half hour to get that loaded up and I'm not going to get out of Cambridge till five o'clock. But fortunately, I managed to get it in just before and I got out pretty well on time. I wasn't late. So that worked quite well. Can I just have a sip? Because I'm <clears throat> a bit croaky today. Somebody said to me yesterday, you sound like you've got a cold. <laughs> sound a bit nasal. Well, I always am a little bit nasal because I can never breathe through my nose properly, guys. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a bit croaky today. Oh, it's beautiful. And I have got my uh, flu vaccine booked for, I thought it was this month, but it's not, it's November. I've got it booked for November. I think it's the 23rd or the 26th, something like that. It's a long way off, but it is in November. Um, so I've got a while to wait for that one. So I might catch a cold before I get to that one. Um, I was talking to or messaging my eldest sister uh, yesterday and she came up with an idea as a, a present for my dad. Now, my dad's a little bit of a tricky one to pick a, pick a present for. Uh, typical parents, they say, oh, I don't want anything. I, I don't need anything. But you want to get them something special on their 90th, something special. So um, we've got, got a gift between us, but um, we've got a little bit of spare cash and we want to treat them to something that they can do you know something they can do and go to and enjoy themselves and so my elder sister sent me a a little bit on my she sent me a message on my phone and it was like a um uh, uh the rat pack you know frank sinatra and james is it james dean and who was the other one sammy davis jr there's a um a, a group who uh what they call them when they um Oh, I can't think what they call them uh, when you've got a group who does this. Oh, goodness, it'll come to me in a minute. Anyway, it's like, uh, it's a doing Cambridge. It's a, an American group um, 
who tri tribute is it a tribute band or something like tribute anyway they're coming to england and they're going to be in cambridge so my sister is trying to book tickets to that uh for my parents and she messaged me back and she said do you want to go as well and i thought yeah why not <laughs> And so she's getting tickets for myself, uh, probably for herself and possibly my younger sister as well, I don't know. But yes, so that sounds really good. I'd love to go to that. And that would be better for my parents because if we do all go as a group, we, my parents haven't got to drive, we can take them. Because uh, my dad's not a keen driver anymore. Um, uh, from his house to Tesco's and back is about as much as he wants to do. He doesn't want to go much further than that. Um, so that's happening. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm back. I'm rabbiting on again, aren't I? Um, if you've got some shout outs for you, I know I've got one. I've got Amelia to do later on, um, but I will check to see if there's any more. So if you would like a shout out, please let me know now. I'll go on and check my messages now for you guys. And I've also got lots of other videos to load for you. But I threw the fish and chip one in first because I literally got home and I wanted to put something on for you. So I put the fish and chip one on first. So they'll be a little bit out of order, but they're all in there somewhere. And I'll throw those at you as we go through this evening. Anyway, I'm going to sign out now. If you want to shout out, please let me know. And I shall do that for you. Uh, probably be after 10 now because it's, it's nearly half past nine now. <laughs> and I've still got a cup of tea. So, yeah. Let me know what, you, what you'd like, if you'd like a shout out, and I'll do a, the late night wash up and we can have a chat then. Okay, I'm going to sign out now, guys. Bye, bye.